the distinction between organizing based on a knowledge base versus organizing based on a project base. Deliverables. Deliverables, yeah, yes. with a date and a specific theme or a specific offering. Yes. For me personally, that was revelatory. Certainly life-changing in terms of how I save and store uh, yes. information, articles, yes. I, inspirations, yes. photographs, and, and so on. Right. Um, it's one of those funny things to me. It's like when one, one can't see their nose because it's right there. Yeah. It's like yeah. It's, it, it's one of those things where once you've pointed it out, of course, it makes perfect sense. Well, and, and this includes personal learning. This is the part where I, I want to extend this. So, I mean, I mean, for, for example, like recently, um, I've been learning uh, from the school of thought called the law of one. Some of you have heard of it. Um, you know, I, I came, came across it years ago, but I just kind of recently started learning more about it. And instead of being overwhelmed, like, okay, where do I put all this information about this new school of thought, this new spiritual path? I'm like, organized by deliverables, just like George Cow says. <laughs> what this means for me then is, I imagine if I were teaching a class on the law of one, this, this new path, therefore, if I'm thinking about that, what would I need to keep? What information would I need to keep? Even if I never teach the class publicly, I'm just teaching it to myself. It's Love so that. much more useful to say, yeah. And by the way, of course, any personal interest as we all know with this authentic business stuff that I talk about, any personal passion that you have, any personal interest could turn into a passion, could turn into a business. Or at least could turn into a side business or a side product or service or, or just a class you teach. Or it could also turn into side volunteering. I may never decide to put spiritual teaching as part of my business, like charging for it, or I may or may not, but I, I certainly could imagine myself enjoying very much forming a group or teaching something regarding to some spiritual path that I've learned. Why not? It'd be so much fun to collaborate with others on. Anyway, but Gregory, thank, keep going, keep going. Thank, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in a way you got ahead of me because I'm leading to a question that you actually, in a way, just kind of, I can see how it would, would serve this. And the, the, the question that I was going to say is, I feel like there's a part of me, like currently I'm earning well in my, in my coaching. I'm serving well. I feel, I feel really, you know, good about, about the evolution of my practice and the content I've been creating and so on. I'm simultaneously aware of a yearning to expand my reach and I'm doing steps. It's one of the things obviously that's brought me to you uh, in, an, in an authentic, in an honorable way. Um, and um, there's a part of me, I was watching a pattern in my consciousness. There's a part of me, as you reflected last week, there is a part of me that has such an appetite for knowledge. I get so enthusiastic about different theories, different disciplines, different way, you know, approaches to coaching and therapy and, and, and so on. There's a part of me that's so satisfied just being in the learning, yes, being in the, right. being in the, being in, <laughs> in the learning. And yeah. it's like, I got food on the table. We got a roof. We got like our basic <laughs> needs are met. Right, my, right. you know, and, and now I want to spend the rest of my time just learning, learning, learning. And there's a part of me that I, I recognize You're already while, in heaven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In a way, in a, yeah. in, really. And then there's another part of me that goes, yes. And, and I mean this in the best of ways in terms of the word ambition. I feel like there's a place that's, that's waking up to being as, am, has a yearning to honor the place that's, that is as ambitious about serving more broadly mm, yes. as I am ambitious about my own awakening and learning. Totally. Oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, I love that. Yeah. 
serving more broadly, serving more deeply, anything you are learning can either be turned into a deliverable on its own merit, or it can be woven into an existing deliverable for your existing clients, existing audience. Um, so ultimately, you either, yeah, I mean, uh, you, you either just, you either learn for your, for your own delight or you learn for your own delight and also in service of all. Yeah, and I don't know why I want to cry, but, but there's a part of me that wants to cry. Like, like it's, to me, it's, it's, it's so sweet. It's yes. so satisfying to me, my own awakening process, my own healing insights, expansion, the ways in which um, my learning serve. It, it's, it's then exponential when I'm sitting with someone or sitting with a group and have mapped up, mapped out some, some ground rules of engagement for a process yeah. right. and I'm able to invite either in a group yeah. sharing yeah. or inviting people into um, breakout rooms or, you know, where people are in, in dyads or in church to, to, to provide the space. Yes. Watch people like there's few things more thrilling to me right. than being in a room. Oh yeah, just being the timekeeper and holding <laughs> space while people are busily yeah. like exploring their consciousness and then coming back into. So yeah. I just I feel like there's a part of me that's going, you know, not only on my computer in terms of being knowledge mm. rather than knowledge being project focused sort of expanding, like you're suggesting, yes. expanding to how I look at my practice yes. overall, yes. to be looking at it as how do I file everything under projects and deliveries? Yeah. Yes, exactly. In, because, in my consciousness. Because uh, ultimately, the, ultimately, teaching is a deeper way of learning. It's like, even if you're not going to teach an extra course, um, like if I was talking about this law of ones, like it may, may or may not ever teach a course on that. I don't can't imagine seeing myself do it, but, but because I have various spiritual paths that I want to learn from, like, just like you, you have various modalities and personal development sort of thought leaders you're following. It's either you're multiple, multiple streams of feeding into this knowledge that you have um, still every stream adds to your overall framework, which you are going to be teaching in some way, whether teaching as a business or teaching as a volunteer. And, uh, or in some ways you are applying it to your, your day to day. Um, some of you are like, well, George, I'm learning Facebook ads from you. you am I going to be teaching a Facebook ad? Do you want me to teach a Facebook ads? You can if you want, but at least you're applying it. You're applying it to your day to day. So you're, you're either applying something or you're teaching it or both, uh, sorry, or both rather. Yeah, hopefully you're applying what you're teaching as well. But yeah, Gregory, I, I thank you for raising this and absolutely um, may this continue to allow you to integrate in a way that blesses even more people. Thank you. Thank you, George. Appreciate thank you. it.